What's up guys, welcome back to another video on my channel and today I am going to be telling you a story about how g Easy is the biggest freaking asshole in the world. <laughs> Okay, so this all started kind of last weekend when I was in Dallas. Uh, we heard about Posty Fest, and I had been seeing stuff about it, and I really wanted to go. I believe this is like the second time he's done it. So Posty Fest is this big music festival in Dallas, and basically a bunch of performers come, and they have like food, they have sta they have stages outside. You know, it's a little music festival, and then towards the end of the evening, you go into the AT and T Center big stadium and um, a couple more like more famous people come out and play there so I really wanted to go because hello Post Malone he's so freaking cute but also because Jaden Smith was gonna be there and I am obsessed with Jaden Smith if y'all don't already know that which if you follow me at all I'm sure you freaking know that so anyways me and my sister really wanted to hit up this music festival and we were talking about it as we were like driving in the car we were like hey we should buy tickets to Post Fest yeah, we really should. So then we end up going and we like sit out at a coffee place all day and we're like helping her, my sister's boyfriend write this like paper for his masters. And we don't realize it, but it gets like really late. So it's evening, we're hungry. And he's like, yeah, I really want wings. So let's go to Buffalo Wild Wings. And I'm like, yeah, or there's this place literally right across the street we could just walk to and we won't have to repark the cars. Let's just go there. It looks like they might have wings. It looks fun. So we walk in and we sit down and then our waiter comes up and he's like, hey, so Kiss FM, the radio station, is over there and they're doing a giveaway with, to win a bunch of prizes if y'all want to go check it out. And Caitlin turns to me and she goes, wouldn't that be so crazy if they were giving away tickets to Posty Fest? And I'm like, they won't be though. Nah, that would be too crazy. Because plus I think it's like a rock station or something. Not really sure, but whatever. Anyway, so we go over there anyway and they're like, hey, so we're giving away tickets to Posty Fest. Yeah, cool. Like, we're not going to win, but we're all going to enter anyway. So the three of us all enter. Justin's like, if I don't win, y'all can take the tickets because I don't really care about it anyway. Y'all would have more fun. So we all three enter. Then we go back and sit down and we start eating. And Justin gets this phone call from a random number. And it's the people, like, right down there. And they're like, hey, so you won. So Justin, like, has the tickets in his hand. And he's like, he looks at me. He's like, honestly, like, I know I said I would give this to you. But I really don't think I can. And I'm like, oh, whatever. So I end up driving home. And I live like four hours away from Dallas. So I drive all the way home. And then it's literally the next day. And my sister texts me. And she's like, hey, so did you want these tickets? Just said you can have them. And I'm like, you're going to make me drive four hours again? I drove up the day of the festival. I woke up like super, super early. I woke up at like 4 a.m., got some work done, packed, and then drove up. And, um... The festival started at like 1 o'clock with like the acts outside and the last act outside was Ray Strimmerd. Strimmerd. <sighs> and we could hear him from the parking lot but we were having such a hard time finding parking and they wanted to charge us $50 to park at the AT&T Center. So we found like a Wendy's that we only had to pay $15. And we can hear him playing and he's playing Black Beatles and we're like running because we want to hear him because if we miss him, this is the second time that we had tickets to a show that we ended up missing. Somehow we make it. I guess we're like really freaking fast, really excited. And like the line that was like hundreds and hundreds of people is literally down to zero people. And we literally just walk right in. So we see him. It's really super cool. And then everybody heads inside to go to like the main event. And so we have... Tyler Yahweh, and then we have Jaden, and then we have Pharrell, then we have Meek Mill, and then we have Posty. The tickets that we won, like, yeah, that's great, we won tickets, but they're, like, way, way, way up. We're not going to be able to see anything. So we walk in, and we're just like, yeah, well, we have seats, so let's just, like, wait in line for some drinks. The lines are, like, flipping long as hell. So we're waiting in line, and then we get to the front of the line, and then they're like, this isn't a drink line. The bar is outside. You have to go to that bar. We only sell food here. We're trying to order drinks, and then the bar people outside are like, no, we're closing. You have to go inside. And we're like, we were literally just inside, and they told us to come outside. So then this guy who's like, looks kind of official, they like tell him, and he's like, they told y'all to come outside? No, the bar is inside. So we're like, what? And he goes, yeah, let's go. And so he walks us to the bar inside, and we go past the whole entire line, and then my sister and I realized, like, this is not the line we were in. We were in, like, some other line. We didn't even see this bar. So we're like, 
oh my god this is so awkward and he starts like talking to the bartenders and he's like y'all turned them away who was it that turned y'all away and we're like uh we don't see him and like we don't know what to do because we feel super awkward because we just like started something when like we were completely wrong he ends up like giving us all these like free drinks and we're like thank you so much and we're like oh my god i feel so freaking bad but like not bad enough to like say anything and we just like take them and thank him and like go on our way so we're walking and we don't want to go all the way up because our seats are really high and you know we just want to figure out if we can somehow sneak down into the like general admission um section and these people paid like hundreds of dollars to get these seats or not seats but like standing room around the stage so we just like start walking down the line with those people we're like okay just don't say anything just slip through and it's me and my sister and two other girls and then everyone's like walking by and holding up wristbands and going in and then we're like fuck so the security guy is like oh y'all don't have wristbands and i'm like no our friend john because john's a common name our friend john is supposed to come meet us right here and give us the wristbands so we can get down there and he's like okay well where is he and i'm like let me call him do you mind if we sit right here like the row one until he gets here or until the people come whose seats they are and he's like no that's fine just call him and so i'm like okay and so we're watching the whole like tyler yahweh show which by the way he did this beautiful memorial thing for um X -Tent xxx tentacion i loved it it was like really really good so we watched it from there and like the whole time like every few minutes i'm like fake calling someone i'm like john where are you we're so annoyed john you better come here oh i see you oh hey okay come over here we're right here there was no john <laughs> there was no john so i think the guy starts to kind of catch on that you know we're lying and then the people whose seats they were showed up and so we have to kind of stand up and then we're kind of in the way so the security guy is like if you give me 20 dollars each i'll just let you down there are you bribing us or are we bribing you so we venmo him like 20 dollars each and they just let us down so then we're like beside the stage just as Jaden Smith is coming out and I'm like freaking the F out because I am obsessed with him and he's so cute oh my god I just wanted to jump on there and grab him but then I didn't want to ruin the rest of the concert after I had gone so lucky so far so anyways Jaden runs out and he's standing there and he's singing and I don't even know what he was singing because it was all a blur at this exact moment but me and my sister are standing there and he turns and he points right at us and this exact thing happened with Lil Wayne at one of his shows but nobody believes us nobody believes us for years and it happened again Jaden Smith pointed at us <sighs> we're dancing we're having a great time Pharrell plays Meek Mill plays as Meek Mill's playing we turn and we realize that right behind us is like the VIP stage and we see Ty Tyla and we see like some other artists and like all the famous people are going up there and we're like how can we get up there and just as we started to try and make up little plans these two guys come up to us and they're like hey you want to come up and we're like uh, yes so they get us off stage and we're standing there and we're like partying and dancing with all these like rappers post malone's playing and it's just the most beautiful moment of my entire life he's strumming away playing stay on his guitar i'm melting then all of a sudden caitlin goes aaron oh my god is that g easy i'm like probably not turn around oh my god it's g easy it's freaking g easy tall as hell gorgeous in the limelight so she's like, let's go take a picture with him. And I'm like, no, I don't want to do that. Because like, I just don't, I feel like that's just kind of like rude. But then she was like, no, let's just take, go take a picture with him. And I'm like, okay, I guess. But I'd rather like walk over and have a conversation and like, you know, talk. If you take a picture with a famous person, they're going to be like, okay, you got your picture and I'll leave. Anyways, he was standing around. He's kind of standing in the back. He's... Honestly, not very, looking very approachable. Like, 
Jeezy, you're hot as hell, but if I saw you in a club and you weren't famous, I wouldn't talk to you. But he's standing there with Tyla, and so we end up taking a selfie with Tyla and g -Eazy. His whole demeanor changes as soon as he takes the picture. Like, he puts his arm around me. He's like, yeah. Oh, my God. So annoying. So I have my arm around him. <laughs> and this is literally like they're taking the picture, smile. And then I turn to him, and I'm like... <laughs> I'm sorry. So I don't know what I was thinking. I was a little bit drunk, but I was like, "You're really." So I'm like, "You're really sweaty." <laughs> don't ask me why I said that. It was just when I get nervous, things just come out of my mouth, and so I was like, "You're really sweaty," but I was smiling. And then he literally like grabs my arm from around him, and he like pushes it like that. And I was like, I was just fucking with you. Chill. And then right at that time, so we're in kind of like a crowd. And then right at this time, like these people walk like right in front of me. And so I kind of like step back. And as I step back, I like kind of step close to him. I might have slightly stepped on his shoes a little bit. He wasn't even wearing super nice shoes. I was wearing Air Jordans. Like, if anyone's going to be mad that someone's stepping on their shoes, I'm going to be mad that someone's stepping on my J's. But no, I wasn't. I was fine. But as I kind of, like, step backwards because these people are all up on me, g Easy motherfucker literally pushes me forward. So, she pushes my arm off. I'm like... I was fucking with you, turn around, step back, and then get shoved forward again. This guy has like eight inches on me. He's like literally the tall dude from the Nightmare Before Christmas. Like long, lanky, tall motherfucker. And so I turn and I'm like looking at him like, did you really just push me? And then he like turns to his like posse and he's like talking about me. Like he was probably like, this drunk bitch needs to get out of here. You need to get out of here. So I just, I'm just like, fuck this. And I just like walk away and he's just, whatever. But Tyler Yahweh is the exact opposite. And I'm like obsessed with him now. He literally was just standing there taking pictures with everybody. He's doing like a photo shoot and just random friends and like other people are just coming up. We'd like to have this little mini photo shoot with him. He's like so cool. So then all of a sudden I hear g Easy, and he's on stage and he's singing and I'm like, oh, this guy again. <laughs> and so I'm like really annoyed and I start telling everybody that's so like around. I'm like, he just literally just pushed me before he went on stage. <laughs> he literally just pushed me. Uh. I, okay. I get it. I get it, dude. Like you probably thought I was just some like drunk bitch flying all over you because I was. But if you would have taken the time to get to know me, I'm really cool. So then we leave and we find out where the after party is going to be. So we're going to go and I'm like really excited because I'm having a great time. I'm super hype. And so we're like driving on the road and then Caitlin just starts like driving home. And I'm like, dude, we know where the after party is. I really want to show up to the after party and push Jeezy. <laughs> I think she's mad at me, honestly, because I lost her chicken nuggets. They were on the floor. So I kind of started yelling at her. She starts yelling at me about her chicken nuggets. And then we're just like getting this huge fight. And then we show up to the house. And Justin's like sitting in bed. And we just start like screaming at each other. And we're like trying to get Justin to take our side. And he's just like... And I grab like all my stuff. And I just leave. And I get in my car. And I'm like, F this. I'm going. <laughs> so I start driving on the road and then I'm like, oh my God, I'm running out of gas. Like I'm literally like on empty, empty. And I get to the gas station and then I realize that my sister has my driver's license and she has my credit card in her wallet. So I have to drive all the way back to the house, show up super awkwardly. I'm like, I need my thing wallet. I get that and I storm out again. And I actually got so mad at her. I punched her car. My hand is swollen, but don't. she doesn't even actually know that until probably right now. Hey, girl. So I'm like trying to find the bar that my friend says he's at. It's downtown, so I'm like driving around, and I just keep passing it. It's all one ways downtown, so it's you can't just turn around and get there. You have to like go down this street, then go down that one way, then come back and do like a huge run around. So anyways, I got so mad and so frustrated about this whole thing. I was like... I'm over this and I literally just started driving home like home home like four hours away home it's 1 a.m. 
I was really excited because this is the night that the time changed, so I thought I was going to have an extra hour to party. And I ended up spending it driving. So I'm like driving down the road. It takes me about 45 minutes before I'm finally like, okay, I'm not mad anymore. I'm like, I'm at 6 a.m. I've been up for 26 hours. Surprisingly, I don't fall asleep at the wheel and die. Luckily, I had friends that were calling me and keeping me up. The literal first thing that I did when I got home is unfollow GAZ on Instagram. <laughs> now you have 8.299999 million followers. <laughs> All right, well, that's the end of the story. Thank you guys so much for listening to me ranting. Um, go on follow G Easy, but follow me on Instagram, Erin Cav, E R I N C A V V V. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave any comments down below, and I will see you guys in a future video. Peace.